Chlamydia is the commonest STI and there are about 200,000 cases per year in England. One of the biggest misconceptions is that if you don't have any symptoms, you can't possibly have an STI. Because most STIs are present without any symptoms, people don't realise that they should come for a checkup or it's a good idea to get tested. I remember the first time I went as well, I went with my best mate. There are a lot of urban myths around it. We were both sat there terrified. You're worried about going there in the first place, mm. then to be waiting around for half a day, then you get a letter all of a sudden, mm. so then it's a bit more anxious. The app has been developed by a multidisciplinary team over a five-year period. We've also piloted the app in 300 chlamydia positive and 2,000 chlamydia negative people. For those who do need treatment, more than 70% went to a pharmacy on the same day, the fastest being 32 minutes. This app is tremendously important because for the first time in the NHS, it allows someone to access their test results. And if they're positive here for chlamydia, they can follow an online clinical consultation and pick up their treatment from a community pharmacy, completely remote from a traditional healthcare setting. It allows people's sex partners who've been exposed to chlamydia to log on to the pathway and get treatment in exactly the same way. People for whom it's not safe to get remote treatment, the app's supported by a telephone helpline and we can fast track those people into clinic for face-to-face -face care. So this remote online automated approach to healthcare delivery has the potential to revolutionise sexual health, infections and medical conditions more broadly.